Hi, this is Brad here with Twisted Out Brewery. Today I want to do a review, talk about our Easy Labeler. This is from EasyLabeler.com. We've had this unit for a couple years now, a little over two years. Uh, so far, I really like it. And it's got some pros and cons. Uh, we'll talk about that as well as tips on how to do things and what its capabilities are. But uh, at first we were doing bottles and it worked great for bottles. We had it set up and then we switched to cans and now uh, we have the American Canning AT1 canning machine, and um, which is awesome. Uh, it's pumping out a little bit faster volume. At first we were concerned would we be able to keep up with this labeler and the answer was yes. Uh, actually there's plenty of time when you pull the can off the line with a small canning system like that and um, you put it on here, you label it up, it only takes seconds and we load them into our case packages. So it actually really worked out great for us. It's a very small compact unit. We don't have a lot of room here in our brew house and we don't have a lot of room for you know like a big labeling system that would attach to the canning line or anything like that so this really fills the gap between the the small and the large so uh we'll talk about it a little bit here um we have let me spin this around here a couple setup uh tips here so when we're doing this you want to put the can in and there's basically a little adjustment here, so it makes it real easy if you're doing 12 ounce cans or 16 ounce cans, uh, you can just adjust this pivot arm in and out to line it up. So you kind of line it up with the, you know, with the paper here. And one thing we've noticed is that when you're moving this thing around and stuff, this little back arm does have a tendency to move a little bit on you. So what we did was we cut this little piece of straw here to like the, the kind of perfect length that we like and we would check that on both sides to make sure it's even and that helps out a lot because sometimes you go putting your labels on they want to go on a little bit crooked and it's usually because one of these is out of alignment so that little trick i just kind of keep that tucked away in here and we check it every time and usually it runs pretty smooth so the other thing i want to talk about is uh label capacities so we always did these 500 pack labels in the beginning and last time I ordered labels, we made a mistake and they came in in these giant 2,500 pack of labels. And we thought, oh no, this is uh, what's designed for like the larger label applicators. Is it gonna work for this? And we actually figured out that it will work. Now you do have to make a little bit of an adjustment. So what we did is we actually took these little styrofoam uh, wedges. You know, we just took a little piece of pipe insulation and we cut it down in little wedges. And what we found is you just kind of lift this up out of here, stick these little wedges in here, and sit this back down. And what that does, it basically just raises this up just enough for the label to clear. And it barely worked, but it did work. It allowed us to get through our uh, canning session with that. So I thought that was pretty cool, the fact that we were able to handle that big boy. And um, actually, after doing it now, I'm starting to kind of like the bigger pack labels. Um, it's a little bit pain in the butt in the beginning, but they last a long time. So if we're doing a large canning run, sometimes the 500 labels isn't quite enough, and you got to stop and you got to, you know, change it out right in the middle of the canning line. It kind of sucks. So this one does give you a little bit more capacity, but you do have to make that little bit of adjustment. So there is a drawback. So the other thing I want to talk about, the only kind of real major con that I have with this is when you're switching labels or once you do a lot of them this paper here gets kind of built up on this rail and you actually have to cut it off to pull the label out so I'll show you here and basically you're sitting here and you're pulling and pulling and pulling reminds you like one of those clowns on there where they're pulling out the thing out of their mouth forever you know, you sit here and it's kind of a daunting task. Now there's only a few on here, so it's not too bad. But when you've got a large buildup, it does take some time there to get all these, uh, this old label backing paper off. Okay, next I want to show you how easy it is to change the labels out on the Easy Labeler here. So first thing we're going to do is remove this plastic clip here. If there's some excess label material on here, you may have to cut that and pull it out. And uh, then you just pull your roll back. And this piece lifts right out. So what I like to do is only loosen this one screw on the on the my left side right now. I like to keep this side 
consistent, right with the side. I mean, you could move it around, center it, however you feel, but I felt like this is the best, it's more consistent, like as far as adjusting, uh, adjusting your, you know, uh, depth and label, things like that. So then this whole piece really just pulls right up and lifts right out. And this is the screw that you loosen, so this bracket just comes right off, so I'm gonna set it off to the side. And you got this little plastic guide rail, we'll set that off to the side. And then uh, your old label unit comes right out. Now there's these little plastic wheels I really like that came with it. So when you get your new roll, it doesn't really have those uh, wheels installed. So we're going to pop those in. Then this slides right over top. Just like that. And we're going to take the plastic piece, just put it all back together. All the all these need to line up like so, and it just kind of slides right in, snaps right down into place. I usually wait till I get it on here before I tighten that screw, and I put just a little bit of pressure right here. You don't want to force it too hard, or else it's going to cause the labels to bind; they could tear uh, as they're going on there. So I just put just a little tiny bit of pressure, and go ahead and tighten this screw up. Alright, now we got to feed the labels through. So there's this little space between this wheel here and this plate. So what you do is actually feed that through there just like that. Then it comes up and uh, you got to remove the first label out of there. So usually we just pull this one off and go ahead and label the can manually for this first label. And then uh, we're going to pull back on this, like basically rolling it back up. To get some tension on there. And then we're going to put that plastic clip on there. Then that's it, you're pretty much ready to go. Then as you uh, roll this handle, it folds the backing paper back and you can see the label coming out, it applies right on the can. And that's it, it's that simple. So we've discussed uh, adjustments, alignments, how to change this. The only other thing that I could mention is sometimes you have to change the width of this. So if you're going, let's say bottles for instance, and you want to go from like a 12 ounce long necks to let's say maybe a 22 ounce uh, bottle, the bottle's thicker, so you got to have a little bit more room here. That is so easy to do. There's a wing nut right here. There's one on both sides. You just loosen that up and you can slide this in or out uh, until the bottle sits just where you want it and you just tighten it back up. That's like the easiest adjustment of all. So overall, like I said, this is an awesome unit. Uh, for the price and for the application if you have a small packaging line uh, this works out great if you're just doing bottles by hand even like when we first started we were using the Medusa bottling system uh, which worked out really well for us we're going to do another review on that whole bottling system we still keep it every now and then we do uh, special release batches in the 22 ounce bomber bottles so it comes in handy you know with that and this works perfect for those bottles as well so a wide range of applications here and uh, overall, I give it five stars. I think it's a great product.